Hi everybody, welcome. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's time for Stamping with Denise. Welcome, I'm so glad you could join me tonight. I hope everybody had a lovely weekend and a great start to your week. Have you done anything crafty? I did. I worked on some swaps. I made, what many did I make? I made 44 cards, um, three different designs for a couple of different swaps I was in. So, and it's all using new product from the mini holiday catalog that goes live on August 3rd. Let me grab my copy and show you what the cover looks like. See, did, I know my customers have been getting theirs. I, I know that two or three have. Can't show you the inside yet, but um, there's some great things in that catalog. So if you don't have a demonstrator and you're looking for one, let me know. I'll be glad to send out a copy to you. Um, also remember, starting August 3rd is the new fall, I call it fall, I don't know, summer celebration. You know, we had, this year we had one in January and February. And then usually it's three months, January, February, March, and this year they decided to do two of them for two months apiece instead of one for three months. So we actually get an extra month of celebration, which is so cool. So this one will starts August third and then I think it runs till about the till the end of September. And it's just like the other um, celebration, your product for Purchases of fifty or a hundred dollars. There's some items in there for a hundred dollars. Most of them are fifty. There's paper. There's stamp sets. There's dies. Um, great products. So I'm so happy to show you. You know to to be able to show you that soon. Actually, you know what? I probably could have done a project out of that, but you know what? We'll, we'll do a, one next week. I'll make sure that for the start, because the next day I go live is the day before the catalog goes live. So I will do something um, out of either the new holiday catalog. Actually, they call it the July to December mini catalog. And the... Or I'll do something, probably something from Celebration, okay? Because it's shorter. I want to show you what, all the cool things. I can't wait for you to see it. So like I said, if you need a catalog and you don't already have a demonstrator and you're in the U.S., let me know. I'll be glad to send you one. Okay, time for us to get busy. Um, if you remember last week, I made this fun pinwheel tower card that... Um, I showed you how to put it together. It really is quite simple, but it's got a lot of wow with it. And you know that I like to send out my cards that I make. So if you share my video and you comment, share it in the comments, you get a chance to win. And the winner for the card that I made last week is Jennifer Davis. So Jennifer, I'll get this card out to you um, probably tomorrow, okay? Very good. Can't can't wait. Can't wait to get that out to you. And tonight, it's a little bit of a different fold. It's not so much of a fun fold as it is a different style, I guess, maybe. People have been doing making these kind of cards for a while. I haven't made one because I just didn't find the right stamp set. But, you know, sometimes you have that aha moment and you're ready. And so I decided this was the week that I was going to do it. So I'm going to um, flip the view down to my hands and we will get started. And while I do that, please, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, please, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you get notified when I post a new video. And um, you'll jo come join over on my Facebook page. The link is down below. And we'll make sure, you know, we'd love to have you join us over there. So, 
I, for tonight's video, or tonight's live, I planned this beautiful, bright, very festive slimline card. So this is a slimline style card. I used the In Symmetry stamp set. I love this stamp set. I saw this, I had to have this. Um, you, you saw me use the, the sentiments in it a few weeks ago when I did that One Sheet Wonder. I, these were the sentiments that I used. I liked the fonts. And I, I'm loving these. I love this color. It's so bright, it's so cheery. And um, so we're gonna get started. It's really, really simple. Okay, the base is made out of just jade and it's seven inches by eight inches. And then you're gonna score it at three and a half, okay? And on this one, you know, a lot of times I fold it by hand. This one I scored because I was afraid this one being longer, I wouldn't get a good, um, could even fold on it, okay? The next layer is Bumblebee, and this is three and three eighths by seven and seven eighths, and that's gonna go on there just like that. And then we have our piece of white, basic white cardstock, and it's three and a quarter by seven and three quarters. And you know, I found a measurement for the card, and I thought, Shh, great, it's gonna, it'll fit one of the legal-sized envelopes. It's actually, a, the envelope's a little bit bigger than the card, but you know what? I think it's okay. Um, it works. I mean, the card, you can see the edges of the card there, but that's okay. I think you could certainly um, send this card in one of these envelopes. You know, you could always make your own envelope too. There's a lot of people that do that. I, I don't tend to do that. Um, it'd be my luck. I'd put, do something, put something or use some kind of paper that the post office didn't like and it wouldn't get sent. So I just use a regular old pre-made envelope. But anyway, so we're gonna set these two pieces to the side. We're gonna work on our front, okay? If you're placing the order for any product, this is my website, denisewill.stampinup.net, and this is the host code. Please use that host code that makes sure that you are shopping with me, okay? Not a, and it, then you don't have to worry about it. So let's start out. We're gonna start out doing the big, big flower right here, okay? Um, I'm gonna put those on there so that stays down like that, perfect. So the green that I chose to use for my flowers is also just jade, which is just like the base. I figured we'd keep that simple. It's so colorful, this card makes me happy, okay? It really does. So, because it's a photopolymer, I have my foam mat underneath, and because I'll be stamping off the edge of the paper, I like to put a piece of paper on top of the foam because otherwise the foam picks up the ink and it can transfer and just makes a mess. But you know what I wanna to do too? I wanna to make sure I get my my flowers placed right because um, this one was a little too far to the right as you can see. I wanna move it a little further over to the left. So I'm gonna use this as my guide and um, move it over just a little bit more. Okay, there's that one. And I think I'm going to go ahead. This one, see, I stamped this, and then I stamped this and these. And so I don't like exactly how they're placed. So I'm going to do stamp everything for the big flower first, at least in terms of the greenery. And then I will know that I have everything placed just right. Okay, so this is the Just Jade. That works well. I'm not gonna need that one, I don't think. Um, let's put another, and then I made these stems just a little bit different sizes, and I did that just by, you know, for sometimes putting the stem off the edge of the page, okay? So we're gonna try to put, um, I'm gonna make this one a little lower. I'll make this one here. 
a little taller. And then I'll put this one right, put it down a little bit. And it'll probably go off the page, but that's okay. I'm going to see if I can get... No, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that because you know what? When I put my flower, my leaves on there, it'll be just fine. Okay, let me set that over there out of the way. And we're going to start with the small wreaths. Um, is that where I want to go next? Yep, yeah, I'll go ahead and go next. I'm going to start with the small leaves on my flowers. Yeah, I can move that out of the way now. Put this one up here and I just put them in all different places it doesn't really make much difference where I put them um, everyone was different put that up there so it doesn't bump into the others this card's big it's getting in the way there we go try to keep everything in the screen in this shot but it doesn't always work so I'm gonna put this one here and this is the great thing about these photopolymer stamps is you it helps you get your placement perfect. And this one, I think I'll put one right. And see, it's going to go off the edge, and that's okay. Put it right in between. There we go. Um, I think that's, yep, that's, I think, all the green I'm going to need for right now. I might come back to it. Okay, now we're going to stamp the big flower. This one here is Flirty Flamingo. And again, placement is really easy. There's a little bitty notch. I don't know if you can... Well, let me turn it over. If you can see it... Whoops. Right here. And then just put the... Um, stem right in that. And the nice thing about these photopolymer stamps is you can make sure that they're all inked up just, you know, completely. So that's another nice thing, too, about them. There we go. That's nice. Okay, I don't think I have anything else for the pink for right now. Now we're going to stamp the other flowers, the tulip-style flowers. And I probably, you know what I'm going to do? There's another flower in this set. There's a round flower that I have not used. I'm going to pull it out and use that for a couple of flowers. Why not? There we go. I'm going to get another block here. Stamp's brand new. haven't used it, so hopefully... Okay, so I think I'm going to leave my flowers in the same order they're in, color-wise. So I'm going to start out with the blue one, but I'll make that, this one here, the round. You know what? I'm going to stay with my tool up because then I don't have to worry about I know that my um, stem will get placed right. I haven't played with that other the other stamp. I'm not sure where I want to put that, where I would put that stem when I'm stamping that. Okay, so let's put this right here. Yeah, and see, this is a little close to this pink, big pink flower, but that's okay because you, you'll see what we're gonna do. It will be the same thing I did here. We, I actually stamped another one and cut it out and put it on top, so it's kind of three dimensional. So, because we are using this again with another color, I need to clean it. Okay. Okay. And you can see I've put some other, some small little flowers in there in the different colors. I am going to wait to add those until I see where all of my big flowers end up at. Okay. And where I might need to fill in. So this one is, okay, this color, this blue, was Misty Moonlight. This yellow is Bumblebee. Got a lot of in colors here that I'm using. Okay, we'll put this one right here. 
And you know I like to put it in there and let that ink soak in for just a second before I back it off. Okay. And I like to stamp off some of my ink before I put it on my chamois. So it just keeps my chamois from collecting quite so much ink. Okay, I got a Highland Heather next. That's the next color for this tulip. I don't know what it is. I just love the the images in this set. There's something about them. I don't know what you call it. I'm sure my son who went to art school could tell me what they're but the you know the set is called in symmetry and they are they're all very symmetrical in one way or another so I don't know maybe that's what I like about it so <coughs> excuse me and my last color here is Bermuda Bay and this little flower might go off the edge too much like it did on my first card. It did, but that's okay. Okay, let's stamp that. Get that ink off. Clean that up. Actually, I guess I didn't need to clean it because I'm not using it anymore. But okay. So I want to fill in with some of these little flowers in different varying colors here let me put my stamp pads out i'll have to this is always you got to make sure you um clean in between so i'm gonna put a little yellow flower here and now put that there um a green or not a green, purple, good grief. Um, let's put one right here. And let's put another one right there. Okay. Stamp that off. Clean that up. Let's see, I got Bermuda Bay here. Let's put one of those down here. And let's fill one in right here. That looks good. And this is different than my first one I did, so that's okay. The only other one I need to do is I could do a blue one. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go over here, maybe like that. There we go. Whoops. Okay, well I don't really need that anymore. I just didn't want to set it down, I didn't want to get ink on my... So I'm going to put away these colors here. This is the Misty Moonlight. This is the bumblebee. This is Bermuda Bay. And this one's Highland Heather. Okay. And we got one more little bit of stamping to do. Let me set this out of the way. And that is the sentiment. Best day ever. I thought that was kind of a nice sentiment. Could be for so many things. Let me set my chamois. Out. Chamois, you gotta have. If you don't have a chamois, you need to invest in one. They're only, I want to say, like six or seven dollars, and you can wash them. And um, I have been known to bleach mine in the past. Um, let's see. I want to make sure I've got a good. Sometimes I like to do a check. Yep, okay. Put the 
sentiment on here. And this is this is Calypso Coral. We're gonna put this right up here. There we go. It's a little crooked, but you know what? That's okay. It's just fine. If it was really bad, I had a plan, but that's okay. It's not. We are going to stay with this. Okay, so I'm going to take my other pieces here and assemble. I have my stamp and seal. And I'm going to put this together. I love this new stamp and seal. Oops. Don't want it, you want to try to not pull it like that because that just pulls it off your roller. See, by doing pushing your hand up like that and pulling it, you break it. And that's what's good. The one thing I find a little challenging with this longer card is getting it placed correctly. It's not exactly even, but it's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on here. So, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now the next step is you would have, when you had your ink pad and stamps out, is stamp an additional big pink flower and a set of leaves, okay? And I've done that and I've cut them out. I've put dimensionals on the back. We're going to put this on here. I just thought this gave this a little bit more dimension. Put this right here. And then just get your leaves. Make sure they're on the correct side of your flower. You know what, I'm gonna use my little tweezer things here so I can make sure I get it placed right. There we go. I just took big dimensionals, the big dimensionals, and cut them in half and put them on there. You could have used the min the mini dimensionals, but this was just. Did I? It goes on this. Yeah. Make sure you get your your lines on your leaf going the right direction. There we go, that's good enough. That is good enough. Okay, now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bow on it. I've got a piece of Baker's Twine here. It's about 25 inches. That, that was just, you know, what I pulled off. And I doubled it in half. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bow. So you're gonna pretend like the double pieces, treat them as one. Make the bunny ears, you know, make the loops, tie them together, make your bow. Now, once you get your, it's always better to use a little bit extra than you need so that you can play with it and get it just right. Because it is just hard if you cut too, too little. Let's see, okay, will that go on there? Make it just a little smaller. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to get a glue dot. Let me get my little knife here. Pull this off. On something like this, I like to roll my glue dot up and put it on the back. There we go. Perfect. Where's my scissors? I can cut that end off. Those ends off. I mean, I probably could have done better. Okay, with a few less inches. That was 25 inches, so I probably could have done 23. Wouldn't have saved me that much, really. 
and sometimes it really does make a difference if you have too little. Now, the last thing, I don't know if you noticed, I put some little embellishments in the center of my flowers, okay? I use the Genial Gems. I think this is supposed to be sea oh, what is that? Mint Macaron, I believe, the green, and then the other is just kind of a gold. So I'm gonna put the green ones in the middle of the green flowers. Just cause, just to use them. You know, I was gonna sprinkle some around. And I decided they were better. They looked better when they were in the middle of the flower. So that's where I put them. Okay, let's see. Put one in here. Put one right here. So yes, if you're just joining me, welcome. Please, if you like what you see, I'd appreciate it if you'd share my video and comment share down below. And I might be sending you this card next week. So there we go. There is our Slimline Best Day Ever card using the In Symmetry stamp set. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining. And I will see you next Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern for Stamping with Denise. Take care now, everybody. Bye-bye.